Hello, this is Ed Chapman, and this video cast is going to focus on the structure and function of lysosomes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lysosomes are fluid-filled vesicles that are made primarily by the Golgi apparatus, or the Golgi bodies, and they contain digestive enzymes. And their function is to combine or fuse with food vacuoles and digest the content. They also are in the cell, floating around in the cytoplasm, um, kind of always ready to release their digestive enzymes in the cytoplasm if they receive a signal to do so. And if that happens, they cause the cell to self-destruct by digesting itself. So in this picture, you can see lysosomes kind of being squeezed and bubbled off of the layers of the Golgi apparatus. And when a fully mature lysosome separates, it can then fuse with another vacuole containing some food so that the digestive enzymes can digest the whatever material was inside the food vacuole. Uh, the analogy for lysosomes would be they're kind of like garbage collectors or miniature stomachs. Um, they are recycling, digesting, breaking down cell parts um, as part of the cell's natural day-to-day -day metabolism. Um, some people also refer to them as suicide sacs because if they rupture or break open, they can digest the cell itself from the inside out. So they can cause the cell to self-destruct. Now this is kind of interesting because people think about cells dying as a bad thing, but there are many, many instances in biology where cells have to die naturally in order for a function to take place. Uh, for example, if you look at this picture of a little baby or a little fetus's hand, okay, this would be the equivalent of something like this coming off the fetus, like this little paddle-shaped structure right here. Um, it has built into it what are going to become fingers. But in order for the fingers' tissues to separate and develop properly, certain cells between the fingers have to self-destruct or die. And as that happens, the fingers actually emerge from what once was a continuous kind of webbed paddle shape. So this is a good, ex good example of how programmed cell death or um, it's called apoptosis if you take AP biology. But this is how lysosomes in the cells right here in these spaces are rupturing and causing individual cells to die. And as these cells die, the fingers separate. I always thought that was kind of cool. Thanks for listening, and we'll stop there.